People say I drive too fast, move too fast, live too fast Ain't no such thing as too fast for me Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! I know it's been forever since I made a freaking video um, I have no excuse, honestly. I have no excuse. Today I wanted to show you guys this Valentine's Day look that I came up with. It's February, you know. You go on cute dates and you get teddy bears and chocolates and all that. But girl, don't forget, you gotta get ready too. Get ready for that day with Tom or whoever your date is. But yeah, I came up with this look. It's, um, it's a pretty, um bold look i guess is what you could call it so if you're someone who likes really neutral eyes and stuff like that this might be a little bit too intense for you but i mean if you feel like breaking out of your comfort zone by all means do it um i think it's a super cute look i used a very bright hot pink and um i tried to do a sort of a halo effect and i also added some gold glitter to the inner corner it's a little close up of it so yeah if you want to see how i got this look then just keep on watching guys hope you like it all right guys so i'm going to start off by priming my eyelids with eyeshadow primer um sorry if i sound a little bit congested i'm kind of sick or something i don't know and i'm sorry if you can hear the baby crying in the back what the hell I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids. Um, my little go-to primer is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. So I'm going to apply that to my lids and underneath my eyes to avoid creasing um, for my concealer and all of that. I'm actually a really big fan of Wet n Wild, so I might be mentioning quite a bit of their products. <laughs> so I'm going to take um, the Maybelline Nudes... Um, palette on a wet and wild just blending crease brush just for a start like transition shade i'm gonna take this bottom um this shade right here <laughs> Now I'm going to take um, this small little tapered flat eyeshadow brush. I hate mentioning this because it is a limited edition. I maybe got it like two summers ago. It's the Wet n Wild Boardwalk Boozing Palette. It has these super duper bright colors. But I'm pretty sure Wet n Wild has other palettes that have a brightish pink. Or you can find something else. I'm going to take this super hot pink right here on this little brush. I'm going to start off from the outer edge and then I'm going to take a little bit more and start from that inner corner. I'm going to try to do like a halo effect with this look so I'm specifically leaving that center area um, just blank so i can apply a different color on top so i'm just gonna try and go around the center of that do the same to the other eye And now what I'm going to do is take this Morphe M562 brush. It's a teeny tiny little like crease brush. And I'm going to barely tap into that pink shade. Like barely touched it and picked up a lot of product. And I'm going to focus on that top part so it can start to kind of look blended. So now I'm going to take a really flat shadow brush. This is, you guessed it, Wet n Wild. It's Wet n Wild small flat um, eyeshadow brush. So just to pack on that pink, I'm going to pick up a little bit more product and start building it up. And 
going back to that little Morphe brush and picking up a little bit more product and blending the top part. I'm even gonna take a little bit on my finger actually and like just pack it on so I can like really intensely pick up that pink shade. I'm gonna go back into the nudes palette and taking once again Wet n Wild the large eyeshadow brush. I lied, I'm actually gonna use my finger. Taking my ring finger. Honestly, your fingers are some of the best makeup tools out there, okay? Yeah, where am I getting with that? Taking my ring finger, I'm gonna pick up this uh, third shade from the left on the bottom row. It's a very gold bright shade. It's a very nice. Um, the pigmentation on this palette, I don't think is that great, but Using my finger seems to work. Now what I'm going to do is place this gold shade on the center where I left, you know, nothing on there. Oh, I am feeling this shade. I was afraid it wouldn't show up that well, but it's doing a pretty darn good job. Now taking my Bitch, you guessed it. Wet n Wild large eyeshadow brush, just tap into that shade, place it over that and kind of start using this. Um, since it's a lot fluffier, I'm going to use it to start kind of blending in that center shade. Going back with my Morphe M562, I'm going to touch up the pink. I'm just going to kind of go back and forth with a gold pink, a gold pink, and kind of just build it up, make sure it's um, blended, and I like the intensity and all of that stuff. All right guys, so I went ahead and did my eyeliner and my eyelashes off camera. I did my wing with the Jessie's Girl liquid eyeliner pen. And then for eyelashes, I'm wearing the Kiss. These are a new like line, I guess, that Kiss has. It's the Kiss uh, Faux Mink Collection Lash Couture in the style Midnight. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, <gasps> oh my God, I put so much my face um, today I'm using the L'Oreal magic perfecting base I'm gonna go ahead and correct my under eyes using my NYX um, under eye corrector I'm gonna take some of my Nivea post shave balm All right, so for foundation, this is actually a newer product. It's um, L'Oreal's Infallible Total Cover Foundation. I have the shade 305 Natural Beige. <clears throat> There's children running outside and you can hear them. Taking my Target Up and Up um, a buffing brush. I'm gonna squeeze, oh, would you look at that? I have all this shit on the back of my hand. I'm gonna squeeze just a bit on the back of my hand.
taking a damp beauty blender I'm gonna just go ahead and go over the foundation just to make sure everything is nice and blended no streaks maybe I should zoom you guys out a bit now so for contouring I'm gonna use um, it's a new product by Jordana. It's a Sculpt and Go Creamy Contour Stick in the shade 02 Medium. I also got new brushes. Look at me, new year, new me. So I'm gonna take, um, this one is the Real Techniques um, Sculpting Brush. For my nose contour, I do use a separate brush. Um, it's just a random contour brush by Soho. Now for highlighting, I'm just gonna take my um, Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer in the shade 02 Light. Taking my beauty blender, drop the little cup. So to bake, um, usually I'd use my RCMA powder, but since I'm trying to keep it just drugstore for the most part, I have this Maybelline Master Fix uh, Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. So I'm going to take my damp beauty blender, dip it into the powder. So while my powder sits and bakes, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my contouring. I know I'm trying to keep this like mainly drugstore, but I actually don't have any drugstore contour, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm using recently. I recently purchased um, the Tarte Pro Glow, Tartist um, Pro Glow Kit. It does come with um, a cream contour, which I accidentally dug my nail into the other day and I cringe every time I look at it, so let's close it up. But, no, oh, actually I need to show you guys. So it has like um, four highlighting shades and then a powder contour and then the cream contour. I'm gonna take my Morphe R5 brush. I'm gonna take that powder shade, it's called Sculpt, and I'm going to do exactly that. I'm gonna sculpt my face. Tarte products always smell like cocoa. It's delicious. But I can't smell shit right now. Going back to my Anastasia contour kit in this specific shade right here in the center. I take this um, little Mirabella Eye Blender Little Fluffy Brush. Taking this super random um, brush I got from Walgreens. It's like super long though, it's literally just a little brush. For blush today, I don't feel like using pink since I have such a bright intense pink on my lids. I don't wanna like take away from that. So I'm just going to use my Milani uh, Baked Bronzer in 05 Soleil and just use that as blush. I'm going to now take my just um, clean um, Real Techniques, I think this is actually their contour brush. I don't remember. And I just use it to um, sweep off the powder. I'm 
Taking my Maybelline Fit Me powder in golden beige. Just um, this Equal Tools. Like a, it's like a very, uh, it's almost like a stippling brush, but it's like bigger and fluffier. Just uh, running that a little bit of powder across my face just to set everything. So I use a liquid highlight and then I use a powder highlight on top. So for my liquid highlight, I use L'Oreal's Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. And what I do is I tap it on the back of my hand and um, using my finger, I place it where I want to highlight. And taking my Wet n Wild small stipple brush, I just um, Blend that in. So I'm kind of stuck between a couple of these colors because they're all just so pretty. But um, recently what I've been doing is using a little bit of lit, strobe, and stunner. I'm going to take this Luxie 512 small contouring brush. So I'm going to take Lit. <laughs> so I'm going to take Shrobe. And then I'm taking the last one, which is Stunner. Um, take some MAC Fix Plus. And some of my Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, setting spray. I feel like my blush kind of didn't show up that much, so I'm going to add a little bit more. Now that I'm done with my face, I'm going to go back to my eyes and finish them up. I'm going to take that small little Morphe blending brush and some of the pink eyeshadow. Now I'm going to start kind of bringing the color up and out a little, just a little bit more so it can be a lot more blended. At this point, what I'm doing with the lids is just um, adding anything that might have came off or just blending a little bit more. I'm going back to the Maybelline uh, Nudes palette, just taking that fluffy um, large eyeshadow brush from Wet n Wild. Taking this third shade from the top, I'm just going to use that as um, my brow bone highlight. And again, going back with that small Morphe brush. That first shade that I used in the crease, I'm going to pick up a little bit of that. That um, second shade on the bottom row and just intensify the um, outer V a bit. I'm just going to bring that a little bit further out and just kind of blend the edges. Taking a clean um, crease brush from Wet n Wild, I'm just gonna blend everything. No product on the brush. Next, I'm taking this Eagle Tools brush. It's just a small little, a little bit tapered, a little fluffy brush. Picking up again some of that shade. That second shape on the bottom row. I'm going to start to apply that 
on your knee um, on the bottom lash line. Using that same brush, I'm going to pick up some of the pink shade now. Run it across the center of the lower lash line. And next, just taking this um, single um, glitter shadow from Wet n Wild. You guessed it, Wet n Wild. <laughs> it's in the shade 352B um, Brass. It's just a gold um, glitter. It's very pretty. It's just glitter basically like mushed into um, like some sticky shit. Taking this super random equal tools brush. I have no idea what it is, but it's basically just a pointed tip brush. Um, picking up that product and just applying it. My neighbors like to yell, I guess. What do you know? Um, just using that. Oh my gosh. Picking up that one wild um, glitter, I'm gonna put it on the inner corner. Just like that, honey. I really like these little um, wet and wild glitter things. I think they work good. They only a dollar, girl. Get yourself some. I'm just gonna pop on some liner into my waterline. I'm gonna take a Rimmel's um, 005 Nude um, Eyeliner. It's the Scandalize Waterproof Coal Eyeliner. Then just taking my go-to mascara, it's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I chose the right day to film, guys. So much freaking background noise. All right, guys, so now that I'm done with my eyes, all that's left is the lips. Since I do have a really intense eye going on, I don't want to go too crazy on the lips. So I think just a nude lip is perfect for this look. And I just can't walk away from this duo. Like, it's the perfect nude lip for me personally. So... As per usual, I'm going to use my Jordana Rock and Rose Lip Liner and um, Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipstick on top. And yeah, I just like a layer. I just love this lip color because it's not too much of a pink undertone which I can't stand on my skin tone and it kind of has almost like a neutrally brown um, undertone which I like and it's just a good nude lip, okay? It's my favorite. <laughs> so yeah guys, that is the finished look. Um, you're ready, you're glammed up, it's a Valentine's Day, and people are yelling outside my window again. It's the same lady, too. It's the same family, you know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, guy. <coughs> my God, my voice. That's the finished look. This is it a little bit more up close. I'm gonna go finish my... 
the rest of me. I'm gonna finish getting ready. I'm gonna do my hair and I will be right back. So that's how I got this look guys. Um, this is the final look with my hair done and everything. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed coming up with the look and just, you know, throwing these colors together. It was super fun and um, I feel like it's such a cool look to wear, you know, it's kind of out there. If you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and give it a like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and I'll go ahead and um, link my social media in the down bar, my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that stuff so you guys can like check it out or whatever. Hit me up on my space. Uh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Happy Valentine's Day.